53 miles of shelving, 35,000 catalogue volumes, documents dating back 12 centuries. The Vatican's secret archives are the stuff of historical fiction, housed in one of the most renowned bastions of religion and culture ever. But their existence is entirely genuine. The name alone evokes the mystery and majesty of the Catholic Church, prompting the more imaginative to concoct ominous tales about what might be hidden beneath. The indexes of the archives are not open to the public and are only accessible to scholars once they are 75 years old. They are stored in a fortress-like area of the Vatican. The Catholic Church's secrecy and potential treasure trove beneath have spurred years of wild speculation about what was inside. Even now, conspiracy theories about its contents exist. So what secrets are kept in the Vatican's hidden archives? The Vatican's secret archives aren't so secret after all. The word secret stems from a misunderstanding of the Latin word secretum, signifying private. The archives were created to contain the Holy See's official papers, as well as letters and other documentation about the Pope. They also house some of the Catholic Church's most valuable artefacts, including records dating back to the 7th century. However, until 1881, no one, not even Christian historians, had access to the archive. That is when Pope Leo XIII, regarded as an intellectual who addressed the late 19th century modernization, made the treasure trove available to scholars. These fascinating documents tell the story of the church as well as the rest of the world. One notable piece is a letter from Mary Queen of Scots, who was executed after being forced to resign her crown and serving over 20 years in prison. She was eventually sentenced to death for plotting to assassinate Queen Elizabeth I, her Protestant cousin. Faced with the prospect of being beheaded, she penned a desperate letter to Pope Sixtus V, pleading for her life and condemning the heretics who would finally kill her. She was beheaded on February 8, 1587, after the Pope refused to interfere. Another priceless document that had a profound impact on the development of religion, it chronicles the Catholic Church's excommunication of Martin Luther, the German who infuriated Europe by rejecting Catholicism and composing his 95 Theses, which are widely regarded as the text that began Protestantism. In response, Pope Leo X issued De Set Romanum Pontificum, a papal bull that excommunicated Luther from the Catholic Church. This allowed Luther to establish his own church and the split has dictated much of world history since. Pagan Origins of the Vatican The Etruscans were an enigmatic people that lived in central Italy around 3,000 years ago. They were pioneers in engineering, art and architecture and their society was one of the most advanced of its time but nothing is known about their language or beliefs. The name Vatican is derived from the Etruscan god Vatus, who was the god of divine communication and prophecy and has nothing to do with the Bible, Greek language or Latin. The Etruscans thought that Vatus lived in an underground cave and constructed temples on top of it to converse with the god. The Vatican is built on top of an ancient Etruscan cave and the Pope is claimed to speak with Vatus via a hidden tunnel that connects the Vatican to the grotto. Regardless of whether this is true, the term Vatican is clearly derived from pagan beliefs. The Apostolic Archive of the Vatican Pope Francis renamed the Vatican secret archives the Vatican Apostolic Archives in October 2019. The Apostolic Archives, one of the world's oldest institutions, is the Holy See's chief depository for all of its acts, deeds and documents. It was formed in the mid-17th century on the initiative of Paul V and is now one of the world's most extensive archives. The archive also houses the Pope's personal archives, which are subject to the Pope's authority. The archives are divided into two sections, the Vatican Apostolic Archive and the Vatican Secret Archive. The Apostolic Archive houses documents from Pope Innocent VIII's papacy up to the 20th century, while the Secret Archive houses records from more recent years. Researchers can access the Apostolic Archive, but not the Secret Archive. The Vatican Secret Archives are a massive repository of secrets and revelations that contain records of scandals and explosive material. Nobody knows the actual size of the archives since they are so vast and unorganized. According to one analyst, 
there are only 24 miles of shelves for the archives. However, the Vatican has revealed that there are 85 linear kilometers, 52 miles of shelves. Controversies For decades, the Vatican secret archives have housed some of the world's most important and dangerous secrets. But in recent years, the vaults have become mired in controversy. A group of researchers discovered proof in 2015 that the Vatican has buried dozens of sensitive documents revealing sexual abuse by Catholic priests. According to the researchers, the Vatican was more concerned with protecting its reputation than with protecting the victims of abuse. In 2018, another group of researchers revealed that the Vatican had destroyed hundreds of key Holocaust-related files. The Vatican claimed that the files were taken for conservation purposes, but many feel they were destroyed to protect the church's reputation. The scandal involving the Vatican's secret archives has many people wondering what else is being kept concealed from public view. What other dark truths are hidden within its four to five walls? Some claim that the Vatican archives hold evidence of extraterrestrial life. The most widely claimed evidence is a collection of extraterrestrial origin skulls. Some claim that the Pope is in cahoots with these aliens and that they are collaborating to implant computer chips in everyone on Earth. While there is no substantial evidence to back up these assertions, they continue to pique the interest of many people. If the claims are accurate, the Vatican is holding one of history's most important secrets. Perhaps one day we will learn the truth, but for the time being the Vatican has remained tight-lipped about the extraterrestrial. The Third Secret of Fatima The Third Secret of Fatima is a contentious document kept secret in the Vatican vaults. In 1917, three Portuguese youngsters claimed to have received a prophecy from the Virgin Mary. Thousands of people witnessed one of them. The alleged withholding of this third secret fostered suspicions that its contents involved a nuclear holocaust, a natural calamity and other such events. The publication of the contents of this secret in 2000 did little to quell curiosity. Many people believe that the public is still being kept in the dark about the third secret. Some believe its contents are too frightening to be published, while others believe it is being used by the Vatican to control the populace. Whatever the reality is, the third Fatima secret remains one of the world's most enigmatic texts. Jesus does not exist. For decades, scholars have speculated about the existence of Jesus Christ, but a new theory suggests that the Vatican is concealing evidence that Christ never existed. According to accounts, the archives contain correspondence between Emperor Nero and St. Paul. According to these accounts, Nero was concerned about the rise of Christianity and interrogated Paul about its leader. In response, Paul purportedly told Nero that Christ was a real person who had been executed by the Romans. Some historians believe this story was made up to flatter Nero. If true, it would imply that the Vatican is still concealing the truth about Christ in order to maintain its control. Regardless of whether or not this argument is valid, it is quite obvious that discussions on Christ's presence will persist for decades to come. Video Evidence of Abuse According to reports, the Vatican archives include the world's greatest collection of indecent children's videos. Whether this is true or not, the fact remains that Copenhagen's Museum of Erotica houses a wide and diverse collection of obscene material ranging from paintings and photographs to films and toys. Furthermore, the museum houses a large collection of erotic literature, including works by National Review founder William Buckley Jr. and scholar Camilla Paglia. Given the collection's size and extent, as well as the modern history of bad press, it's not a surprise that the Vatican archives have been linked to these alarming and inappropriate rumours. However, the exact nature of the collection is unknown. Encyclical of the Pope In 1891, Pope Leo XIII issued an encyclical which would have far-reaching consequences for the Catholic Church. Rerum Novarum, which translates to Of All New Things, was a harsh assessment of the Industrial Revolution and its consequences on workers. Leo contended that the new economic system was unfair and unjust, and he advocated for broad reforms to defend workers' rights. The encyclical prompted a debate within the church over the papacy's role in social and political matters. In the years afterwards, 
popes have used papal encyclicals to speak out on a variety of issues ranging from poverty and war to contraception and abortion. Today, papal encyclicals are an important component of the Catholic Church's social teaching, shaping our perspective of the world around us. Illuminati Some say that despite its disillusionment in medieval times, the Illuminati has simply built itself up by placing its members in some of the world's most influential places. One of these influential offices is the Vatican, which is widely thought to have many notable members who are also members of the Illuminati. Some may find the idea of the Illuminati controlling everything absurd, but when you consider the evidence, it makes a lot of sense. The Vatican, for example, is a massively wealthy entity with a net worth of more than $35 billion. They also have some of the most expensive art and historical objects in the world. Given their tremendous riches and influence, it's not difficult to assume they're behind some of the world's most heinous plots. So the next time you observe anything weird happening in the world, don't be so quick to discount the possibility that the Illuminati is behind it. The Vatican's secret archives only reveal records that are at least 75 years old, and the ultimate owner of the archive is not the church, but the Pope. People can sue individual dioceses for information, but the church is a sovereign nation that can do anything it wants. The Pope is the only one who has the authority to release the records early, and it appears that it will be decades before journalists, historians and victims learn more about the Catholic Church's participation in the scandals. Leave your thoughts on the Vatican and its secret archives in the comments section below.